Hi, welcome to my channel about embedded systems, robotics and physiotechniek. If you're new to my channel uh, or haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. As you can see, the focus and topic of this video is my uh, robotic arm with pneumatic hand. And last time I was focused on the pitch or the yaw sensor rather, because when this part hits this sensor, um, the rotation is supposed to stop and then um, the yaw motor which is right here is supposed to make a switching move. And I have adjusted the algorithm last time, but it shows that it is quite uh, an undertaking to um, get it signaled, to get the signal from um, the switch. So in this episode, I want to see if I can uh, bring it further. And. Um, if you have seen my previous videos then you do know that I use screencast often and you also see now that I have two camera views instead of one. Um, to my surprise it made a big difference if I connected this camera view and um, the second camera that is to uh, a different USB port. So, camera on, uh, well, on the arm actually, uh, I in hand, and it's not um, completely correct because it is somewhere between the elbow and the hand, behind the wrist, and I in hand is actually right here, while the camera is up here. So, well, but I call it Iron Hand anyway. Then, as I said, the focus is here. And the question is, how does it work? Well, let's just uh, see. Uh, the arm is completely unlocked. So, uh, of course, last time I did change um, the coder a bit so that everything is written in the log file, but let's run anyway. And now I hope that this uh, position of this camera is just correct, even barely. No, it touches the camera stand, okay. Now the compressor is going to run. And for some reason... Ah, that's the hand pitch, uh, the arm pitch, also very nice to have. But the wrist is not functioning. Once again. Let me assist. Oh, it has really a problem. Okay, but now it is touching a lot. Um, the yaw sensor is touching. Quite a bit, lengthy, but why am I not seeing it? Your status is zero. And it keeps being touched. Why am I not seeing something? Your status, okay, let's quit. Let's quit for a moment. Trigger yaw, yes, I want to see that. Duration 2, direction 1. But why am I not seeing the motor? 
um, run. That gives thought that the motor doesn't run. So, um, with that in mind, let's take a look at how the wiring should be. So, um, this camera is now on a different position, pointing at the yaw uh, motor, which should run, while this one is, or was, uh, running. So, going here, and these are pivots, switch, pivot wrist, okay, um, let's change, hand pitch, no, this is a wrong one, I need to be here, obviously, this is the vertical mo uh, gearbox. So, is this telling me where the yaw goes? No, it doesn't. Where is my yaw motor? My notation is not uh, correct. This is the external one. And I don't see yaw anywhere. All right. So that need, uh, is in need of improvement. Let me just find out how the wiring goes actually. As it turns out, it's there anyway. Motor wrist yaw, which is correct because it's going to extension motor 4. So let's go here and hopefully select the right interface right away. And then extension motor 4, which doesn't do a thing, which means I have the wrong interface. And I should take this one most likely. Slave. Um, I see it run. Which actually means it is wired completely. Uh, it is wired fine. So, if that is the case, um, is it the switch that doesn't respond? And its switch is. I have to assume uh, the same way. Or the same one actually, otherwise I really have a problem. All right, and that is going to actually extension three. So this is indeed the extension three. That's remarkable. So this should be your anyway. Going back, uh, open interface one, okay, slave. Uh, which is indeed correctly working. So there is nothing wrong with that one. So everything um, electrically being correct. Uh, why doesn't it, why didn't it work when I run the program? Hmm, interesting. So now the question is, um, how about your status in the um, log file? This is the end of the log file, and going up, searching. There is no YOL status 1. And without YOL status being 1, um, it won't run. As simple as that. 
So let's go here. If you'll start status is one. Null status is. Set motor. I need to figure out which um, which designation the Yule motor has. Is that indeed just in the in in in, in trigger Yule duration direction and it says here on two. And yes, I set the motor here. Duration for two seconds. So that should work. It should be functional. Question, why doesn't it? Um, let's run it again and see whatever happens. A close look. So, once more, run. Let's question. Wait for the wrist to run or help it a bit. Can't help. Or will it? Let's help it a bit. Okay, now it is pressing firmly, not your. And the motor doesn't do a thing. This your motor is not doing anything. And the switch is pressed completely. So I really have to uh, look after uh, the algorithm once again. The pitch should stop, which is this one. This one should stop, and the oil motor should run instead. Does not happen. Not good. And this switch is being pressed all the way. And here it says not, not. So it's not good. And given time, um, I think it's uh, time for well next video then. So with the arm in full swing. Um, a, a hand pitch motor that runs completely and your motor that doesn't run unless I use the diagnostic interface. I say thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. Give the video a thumbs up. Um, click the notification bell to get notified with uh, future videos or for notified for future videos. Um, Please do support uh, via either PayPal or Ko-fi or becoming a patron for two euros a month at the minimum. Um, you can also follow me via Twitter and Instagram. Um, please see uh, for more information below the video or uh, in the final segment. This is going to be continued. Um, like I said, more is coming next. And for now, stay safe, have a great day, take care, bye.